Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to be unboxing a package that I got from Ferrero Box. So they're known for making mystery boxes, and I recently opened their Black Friday mystery box. But now, this is hopefully the Potterverse one, but when I saw my delivery notice via email, it had the DC logo on it instead of the otter wearing a sorting hat. That was what they were using to advertise their Potterverse or Harry Potter mystery box. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this is Harry Potter and not DC. I'm not a big fan of DC, and if there is a mix-up in order, I'm definitely gonna contact them for sure. So I was trying to look up information about the Potterverse box, like what possibly could be in it, but that has been replaced by DC. So I think that might have been why the images switched. But anyways, I'm gonna get to opening this box. So it's this small. Um, I guess their boxes were larger before, so um, these are now considered the smaller boxes that they are doing um, from now on, I guess, unless they have specials, which was like the Black Friday box as well as the Nightmare Before Christmas box I also got and opened as well on my channel. So definitely make sure to check out those two videos on my channel. Just kind of look back through my videos for them, or you can just type in Forever Box, um, Silly Sill, and hopefully it pops up. Um, so this box is $24. That is without shipping. So I'm going to get started in opening it. And I'm really excited um, to see what kind of Harry Potter stuff they put in the box. Because so far the two boxes I've gotten from them, you definitely get your money's worth or your value back of what you paid for. So I'm excited to see what goodies they stuffed in here. So you open the box like this and then... This is what you see inside. Um, so far, there, there's there been always like paper on top covering the items. So I think this might have happened too for this box. Yep. <clears throat> so picking it out. Okay, cool. So, um, awesome. So for the most part, I think all of these items I don't have. Except, oh, actually one, but I'll get to it. So the first thing that I pulled out are these Harry Potter crew socks and they are red and black. They have the Hogwarts um, symbol right here um, with all the representations of the different houses, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. So pretty cool. If you didn't know, I am actually a Gryffindor and I've tried multiple quizzes. I even took Pottermore quiz twice and I still got Gryffindor. So I feel like I am a walking cliche when it comes to being sorted into um, a Harry Potter house. <clears throat> but I guess Gryffindor fits me. Anyways, here is the second item. And it is actually a badge that you can put like your ID in. And it says platform um, 9 and 3 fourths. So that's the platform they use in order to access the Hogwarts Express. So that is pretty cool. So yeah, it says Hogwarts Express on the um, lanyard. So I'm just going to keep them in the plastic because um, I don't feel like opening them right now. Because I'm going to have too much trash or I'm not going to open those two. Because you can kind of see it through the plastic. Um, the third item that I have is... Um, this nano metallic nano metal figs. I actually have some for the Nightmare Before Christmas that recently came out. So this is like super super glare right now. So um, it has Harry, Hermione, Ron, and um, Percy Weasley and Arthur Weasley. So yeah, I'm not sure if this is from a particular movie set. Um, I can't remember seeing Percy Weasley. Uh, uh, it's been a while since I've read the books as well as watched the movies, but that is pretty cool. I actually um, ended up getting a Harry Potter related um, nano metal figs um, scene set um, from Target, but that's going to be definitely shown in an upcoming video after this one. So I'm just going to hint it right there. Then the next item that we have is this Harry Potter mystery mini box, but there's also this one. But um, this one is actually from the GameStop Harry Potter mystery box that recently came out, where you had the chance of getting either Sirius Black or 
the Chase Sirius Black. So one is sepia and the other one is black and white. The Chase being, I want to say black and white. And these aren't really mystery figures because you can actually see what figure you actually get. So I don't know. It's still mystery figure brand or mis mini figure brand, um, but you still are able to see who you got. So I'm going to definitely leave this in the box because I already have one from that mystery box. And there were other cool goodies in there. I'm not too sure if those mystery boxes are still available at GameStop, but I'm definitely going to have this for sale on my Macari account. So this one is one where you can actually get a random figure. So here are the figures that you can get and um, how exclusive they are or like who's exclusive as well as how rare the figures are. So um, it would be cool getting Harry or Draco or Tom Riddle. That's pretty cool. He's um, black and white and he's also an exclusive. So yeah. It would be exclusives from Hot Topic because um, for the most part, a lot of stores sell mystery um, minis, but some of them have exclusives specifically for their own store. So definitely I'm going to open this up and I don't have any from this particular collection, so I'm not going to get any duplicates of any sort. <clears throat> so yeah, this one I'm definitely going to have to open because I want to know what's inside. <laughs> Um, so I want to say that we got this one. That's one out of six. I forgot her name, but, um, I feel like these are all mystery figures from the Fort book, which is a Goblet of Fire, where they have different students competing for the Triwizard, um, tournament. And since this figure, I feel, is wearing a hat, I want to say it's her. And I forgot her name. For some reason, I want to say Floor, but that doesn't sound right. Um, so here she is. She looks adorable. We have her light blue attire and her yellow or blonde hair. So cute. I want to say that um, her school was actually an all-girls school. Okay, so we're down to our last two. And I'm actually pretty excited <laughs> because I didn't actually um, get these Funko Pops. Um, because... Um, when these came out, that's when I actually started becoming more of a hardcore Funko Pop collector. Um, so I'm excited because these are actually summer convention, um, exclusives as well as they're glow in the dark. And I know before they, um, were really high valued, but now they're lower valued now, I guess because not a lot of flippers or not a lot of people were able to sell them off for a higher price. So now they become normal price, like around probably $13, $15. I can't really remember. I definitely should have gotten my laptop. So one second. Okay, I was wrong. One of them um, actually went down in price and the other one is still um, high up there in a sense. So I'm going to start with the lower one. So this one is Headless Nick. So I'm really excited to add him to my collection. Um, because I do collect some of the Harry Potter pops, but I'm not going to go into all the variants because all my time, energy, and money is going into completing my Nightmare for Christmas set, which I'm ever so close to completing um, if I don't count the really high-valued ones. So um, the box looks really good. Here is the top side, the back side um, from the collection that he's a part of. Um, side view again, and the front side. So I'm really excited that I'm able to get him in the collection, but not only him, if you haven't guessed yet, I got Moaning Myrtle too. And they're both from the summer um, convention from 2018. They both glow in the dark, but um, this one looks like she was having fun in the box and it does have a lot of like little paint marks, but I found like a nifty trick. I'm not sure if it just worked because um, the black paint was maybe Sharpie or something, but I actually got an Expo marker and I rubbed it on the paint that was here that was marked up um, from a different pop and it actually came off. So maybe I'll try using that trick again to try to get um, that blue paint off because since she was dancing around in her box, it left some blue marks in the box like you can see right here. So here's a side view, back view, side view, and front view. So I'm super, super excited that I got her. 
And oh no, actually her window is a little bit damaged. Yeah. So like, it's kind of like bent in right here where like it has like a little crack in the, the window, but it's not, it's okay. It's, it's fine. Could be worse. Could be worse. But I'm going to quickly fix her right now because it's bothering me. And I can show you a little bit of her too while she's out of the box. So yeah, I am super excited. So um, Nearly Headless Nick is actually going for $17 right now. But Moaning Myrtle, she is actually $35. 30 to $35. So that is freaking awesome. Like I said, this box cost $23.99 or $24. And I was able to snag two Funko Pops. And that's already over the value that I spent on the box. So that is awesome. Because these are two um, Pops that I definitely, definitely wanted in my collection um, as like a Harry Potter fan. I won't say I'm like a big fan. I am a decent fan, I feel. Um, so yeah, awesome. Now she's back in her box. Oh no, she came off again. Ugh. So yeah, I'm going to price um, or do a guesstimate of like all the prices together. Um, to the best of my knowledge, um, once I refix Molly Myrtle, I don't know why she's not staying in her box. Okay. Hopefully she stays in place this time. Okay, cool. Now she's in place. Yeah, so I think you can kind of see like where it's like a little bit damaged on the window right here. Like right here. Yeah, there you go. Um, anyways, so let's quickly calculate everything together. So um, 35 for Moaning Myrtle, which is the most expensive item in this box. And then plus 17 for headless, um, nearly headless Nick. And then for the two mini figures, I want to say that they're about five or six dollars each. So I'm just going to say $10 for the both of them. And then um, these figures, um, I want to say the one that I bought for um, Night for Christmas was about six or seven dollars, so I'm gonna say six. And then the socks at Hot Topic, I want to say these kind of long socks were about four or five dollars, so I'm just gonna say four. Mm, yeah, four. I'm sticking to it. And then um, this lanyard, um, I don't really buy lanyards, so I'm gonna just say. Four six because it, it's a decent like size badge and it's a nice like lanyard so let's say six so in total for these one two three four five six seven items in this box i got 78 dollars in total of value so um the extra value that i got from the box after i subtracted 24 that i spent on it is 54 dollars. so that is freaking awesome so basically I paid for like all these tiny like items here, um, but got the Funko Pops for free. So that is pretty awesome. I really love for our boxes and I'm excited to invest in more of their boxes. I know currently they have the DC box, which I mentioned earlier in the video, and they do have a box that I think is half off right now and it might be a Disney box, but don't quote me on that. I'm going to definitely have their information or their links in the description below of this video but that is it for this video if you like this video make sure that you click the like button also make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already follow me on my different social media accounts there will be linked in the description below as well as links to my macaria account and ebay account where i'm selling a bunch of my stuff that either isn't fitting in my collection or because i have too much plushies on my bed right now anyways um i just want to end it off with i hope you have an awesome day bye